This is a counseling minute from Michael DeSilvis. I think it's awesome that you have a heart and you want to help people because I know a lot of people like to help people with people's relationships and try to rematch them back up after there has been something that bad happened in a relationship, whether a girl or a boy or a boy or a girl, whatever's going on there in high school and middle school. But the thing is, I want to tell you, for me having wisdom and being older, I know more because I've been around more and longer. And so, you know, that's truly case listen to us dinosaur people you know people that teenagers say we don't know a lot but really we do know a lot you just have to take time to listen to us because we can help you with a lot of things but what i want to say to you i know you want to help these help people out and you want to help these people who you're friends with and there's people that you want to do that with but sometimes it's not always a good thing to try to put them back together a lot of times it's just best just to stay, take a step back meaning don't say anything and just be silent and allow them to work it out themselves. If he or she does not have the nerve to go talk to the other person, then it's not going to work out. But if they get the nerve to talk about it, then it will work out because they truly do love each other. But they have to work it out. Not you be the go-between or the handyman or handy woman. Where you go and talk to them before the other person does. Because let's say per se, for chance, it doesn't work out then they could be mad at you because it didn't work out because maybe they could think in their mind you did something to cause it to not happen. You know, when really you didn't, you were really trying to help them and be a friend. But see, because you did that, now you're not their friend either. So that's why I say it's probably best just to let them work it out themselves. If none of them have the nerve to talk to each other because of the falling out of their relationship, meaning they broke up, then, they really, then they're, never, they're not meant to be together. So that's just my wisdom. I hope it helps some of you all out here, young teenagers and even tweens too, who are starting to go on the boyfriend and girlfriend scene. And, uh, you know, if they can't work it out themselves by talking to each other, then it's best just don't get involved with it. That's something that they need to work out because chemistry is chemistry. If it's meant to be, it'll be meant to be. If it's not meant to be, well, then they'll just part ways like two ships and they'll go find some new, someone new. And that's just the way it is. I know you want to help. you got a good heart. But you could get caught in the crossfires and end up becoming a casualty to yourself and not being friends with either one of them as a result. So when it comes to that, I wouldn't be the go-between. I would just let them work it out amongst themselves. It's Michael DeSilvis for New Hunter Church of Christ. Peace. Take care. Shalom. I love you.